Now, we're going to take a few minutes to review the exponent rules that we've covered to date and work some examples that use all of those rules together. So that's simply our goal for this segment is review and examples, practice. The exponent rules we've worked with, I want to focus on this a little better if I can. No, nope, not focus. Zoom. We have the product rule. When we have two powers with the same base and we multiply them together, we're going to add the exponents. The quotient rule is similar, except that we subtract the exponents. With our power rules, if we have a power raised to a power, we multiply the exponents. Notice that in all of these rules we have not changed the base. If we have a product raised to a power, we uh, simply attach that power to each factor in our product. And a quotient, similarly, we can think attach the power to everything inside. Um, with zero powers, we simply recognize if we end up with something raised to the power zero, it becomes a very handy one. And if we have a negative exponent, we're simply going to cross the line between the numerator and the denominator, so that if we have a to the negative n power, that becomes one over a to the positive n. Some handy subrules that go with that. If we have a negative power in the numerator and in the denominator, they're both going to cross the line uh, to the other side, um, and you end up with positive powers. And if you have a quotient raised to a negative power, you just flip it over and change the sign on the power. Let's apply these in some examples. I'll need to zoom this out a little. A typical set of instructions would be to write the following expressions. with positive exponents and then evaluate. So, let's take one and go. If we have 5 to the negative 3 power. Well, we can use our rule for negative exponents that we're going to take our power and cross the line between numerator and denominator, and we'll have 1 over 5 to the positive third power. But 5 to the third power is 125, so that's simply 1 over 125. What we've done is, first of all, we have written this with positive exponents. I'll write a plus and a VE for positive. Here's our positive exponents piece. And then we evaluate it. When you evaluate, you're just making it as much as possible into a simple number or fraction, getting rid of powers, um, simplifying as much as you can. Let's take an example that involves um, a fraction. If we have 7 thirds to the negative 2 power, well, this is one of those handy little subrules from negative exponents. Um, when we have a quotient raised to a negative power, we're simply going to flip what's inside. So we'll have the 7 in the denominator and the 3 in the numerator. 
and then we change the sign on our power. Well, now, let me slide this over a little. That was using one of our negative exponent rules. I'll write a dash and a VE for negative. Let's now use the power of a quotient rule. and attach that 2 to everything inside. Again, uh, different colored pens or pencils are very helpful, and draw yourself arrows so that you don't forget anything. And we'll have 3 squared over 7 squared. We have positive powers. We have um, simplified our expression. We can evaluate it now. 3 squared is 9, and 7 squared is 49 the last time I checked. So we have 9 49ths.